Hi guys, welcome to your first meal for outdoor cooking. Oh, so I'm Miss Tessa. So I'm gonna bring out the supplies that you need. So first we're gonna need some graham crackers. And then we're gonna need some chocolate. And some marshmallows. And a nice roasting stick to roast our marshmallows on. And you can use any kind of other additional toppings that you want. So first off, as you know in the last video, you were able to make a fire and learn to build it. So if you do not remember how to do it, you can go ahead to that last video. Make sure you do it with adult supervision. Now, the next thing you're gonna need to do is to get all your ingredients together and make sure that it's nice and close for you so you're not like leaving the fire and doing other things because it's, uh, it's dangerous to leave the fire unattended. Okay, so to do a nice little prep beforehand, you're gonna take one graham cracker, you only need one, out of the pack. Make sure the pack and box is open. That probably would help if you're starting. So mine is kind of broken in half right now. But what you're gonna do is normally you would split in half, but since mine's broken, it's okay. You don't have to worry about it. But you're gonna wanna make sure there's two pieces of it. Break a little more off. That way, when you're closing it up, you have, you know, your top and your bottom, kind of like a sandwich. And before you start with your marshmallow, you're gonna wanna take some chocolate. I usually break off two pieces, maybe three. And you're gonna put it right on the bottom. That way it looks like this. Nice little bottom stair. And you're gonna save the chocolate for later because no one just eats one s'more, I know. And then you're gonna take your nice roasting stick, make sure it's pointed at the top. And you're gonna put on your marshmallow. You can do two on top, I know people who do that. But we're just gonna start with one today. Like that. So, now we're gonna come over here. And the fire's gonna be nice and hot right here. And you're just gonna put the marshmallow by the fire. It's usually really good if you have a really long stick and you put it right in any openings with the fire. It's really easy for it to warm up there. See, mine is already puffing up. A little burnt, that's okay. I like them kind of burnt. You can pretty much have it to whatever color you want. The best color, they say, is usually golden brown. As I said, I like mine burnt, so it's going to be a little black on the round. It's okay. And then when you're done, you're going to come over here. Get this stuff out of the way and you're going to take your bottom one leave it on the bottom you're going to put your marshmallow right on top of there nice and well then you're going to take your tops and mine's in half i'm only going to use one piece you're going to split it like that that way all the marshmallow comes off so it can work there and if you're having any trouble you can ask your parents for help and then make your sandwich like that it's good to eat Yeah! Delicious. Somebody want to talk to us about some of the variations we could do. Miss Nancy, what's your favorite thing to put on a s'more? I really like adding peanut butter because that just adds character to the whole s'more. You could also add jam. Mm. You could add strawberries or Reese's peanut butter cups, which is really, really delicious. Some of the crackers, you could have cookies as the bases. Um, you could also add Nutella, which is really, really good. You know, chocolate it up. All the chocolatey goodness you can muster. Yeah, okay. Whatever you feel is necessary to really level up the taste of your s'more, you could do it. Just don't do fish, anchovies, or any type of vegetable. I mean, you could, but you probably shouldn't. Thank you for joining us today on How to Make S'mores. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right.